There are jigsaw puzzles, crossword puzzles, three-dimensional puzzles, and even brain training puzzles to ward off dementia. This affordable and entertaining pastime is still going strong today. So let's piece together the history of this centuries-old puzzle on this episode of Half Price Books, All Things Printed and Recorded. In 1760, London cartographer and engraver John Spilsbury cut paper glued onto wood with a jigsaw tool. He clearly didn't have to puzzle very hard to come up with a name for this new product. Hmm. Jigsaw? Created for educational purposes, these so-called dissected maps pretty much described what the first jigsaws were. Puzzles didn't become super popular until 1900 when adult puzzles were introduced. Way harder than some of today's varieties, they were often cut exactly on the color lines with no image on the box to show you what you were assembling. And if you sneezed in the middle of working on one, you could blow the whole thing. <laughs> People went crazy for them anyway, even though a 500 piece jigsaw cost $5. That's a pretty steep fee for the average worker who's only making $50 a month. By the 1920s, the game manufacturer Parker Brothers figured an affordable die cut variety, plus a fun way to hide shapes inside puzzles with pieces cut like birds, flowers, or letters. Suddenly puzzles were a top diversion and reached peak popularity right in the midst of the Great Depression. It was too expensive to go out to eat or hit a nightclub, so people stayed in to do puzzles. Libraries and drugstores rented them for three to 10 cents a day. Weekly puzzles like the 25 cent jig of the week were available on newsstands and stores offered free giveaways with the purchase of a toothbrush or a flashlight. Obviously, you want to have good breath when you're looking around on the floor for the missing piece. By the 50s and 60s, traditional jigsaws were on the decline from their former peak of 10 million sales per week. But that didn't stop manufacturers who went back to the luxury market of hand cut and custom styles and more pieces. The average jigsaw comes in at just over a thousand, but in 2011, a university in Vietnam debuted one that clocked in at a whopping 551,232 pieces. And there was still one you probably couldn't find. This has been Half Price Books, all things printed and recorded. If you'd like to learn more about the history of puzzles, check out our blog at blog.hpb.com. Until next time.